everyone hope you're having an excellent day today i'm doing pretty good thank you so much for joining us here at the atlanta brick co live store tour we do these every tuesday and friday here at atlanta brick co at three going till about four o'clock looks like we got a great chat going on in the conversation already we've got darth maul dr jaja builds by matt a couple of our friends here dropping emojis builds by matt dropping all the emojis and then uh, Will Lamb, Tegan is here. Let me see who else. T Valkyrie, Nexus to Zach, all of our good friends. Thank you so much for joining us. And Dinomation says, hello, everyone. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. All of our friends here today. There's Howdy Mark. T Valkyrie dropping the, the Black Falcon shields. Love them. Nexus saying, hello, Mark. Greetings as usual from Rom Romania, says A Night In. Thanks for joining us all the way from Romania. It's got to be a different time of day, I'm guessing. Probably, is it afternoon for you guys? Morning? Early morning? I'm not sure. Late in that night? Anyway, Brad P is here. Hello, Brad P. Tegan is here. Will M. What up, Dad? How's work? Works good, son. Good to see you, Will Lamb. Hello, Lego family. Says Lego Mike. Good to see you, Lego Mike. And 22-8 at the moment. There you go. <laughs> Builds With Me is here as well. Wow, good to see so many people saying hi in the chat. We appreciate it, guys. Hey, y'all, I was the one who asked how much my UCS Starfighter was. Oh, right, yeah, we got a bunch of the cool Star Wars UCS sets in right now. We should go talk about that really quick. That's a nice Ultra Dragon there. Yes, it is. There's Brick Virus all the way from Greece. What up, Grandpa? <laughs> Hello, Nexus to Zach. If we get to 35 likes, I'll make an ABC mock. Oh, that'd be awesome. We definitely got to get to 35 likes now. If we get to 40, I'll put on my next night costume, and it would be a great day to do so because I am wearing all red. This is my Lego Island t-shirt. But if we get 40 likes, then we'll be good to go. Yeah, so we've got some awesome Star Wars. We've got the amazing Imperial flagship. Simpsons, Roller Coaster, B-Wing, the Imperial Shuttle, the Super Star Destroyer, and more all around. So loving those amazing modular buildings here. Got the Town Hall, Cafe Corner, and Green Grocer, three of the biggest and coolest of the modular sets. They're all very expensive. You're welcome to check them out on Atlanta Brick, oh, excuse me, atlbrick.com, which is our website for Atlanta Brickco. Let's see. <laughs> Atlanta Brickco TV, yeah. That's where we are right now. I don't think I need to plug it that hard. So. Let's see. We got, hey dude, I opened a Bricklink store. Should I sell individual pieces and manuals? You can. I know that Bricklink has a lot of sellers right now, so it can be a little bit uh, competitive pricing for everyone, which is great. But if you can get, make it work, that's awesome. Holy bricks, the amount of ads. I'm finally here. <laughs> Sorry, Grumpy J. We got to make that money somehow. It pays for all of our shenanigans. There's uh, Vogan as well. So. There's Skylar. Hello. Good to see you, Skylar. There's Grayson111. Hello. How the grump is everyone today? We're doing pretty good. Oh, excuse me, Caleb. Hi from Tampa Bay. This is Dan W. Good to see you, Dan. I have OCD says hi. Good to see you, OCD. Do you guys have Mr. Gold? Oh, I'm sorry, build with me. We, we don't have Mr. Gold. Haven't had him for a couple of years now. I think we've had him once long ago. And so true. Sealed Star Wars sets. Let's go look at them, Susan. Good to see you. Let's see. Hey, still got that Maersk and Orange uh, train. How much? Thanks. We'll check on that for you, Corey. I know you love those trains. Dad, how is Uncle Steve? Um, I'm guessing he's doing pretty good. I haven't seen him today, but he's probably doing fine. So, T Valkyrie says, hi, good to see you, T Valkyrie. Thanks for joining us. This is my first time on a stream, so how does this stream work? That's a great question, Dinomation. So basically, um, in the comments, you can request things to check out or things to talk about. You can even ask about um, current TV shows, pop culture. I'm happy to chat about almost anything. And, uh, like, so I'll walk around and look at the stuff that we're looking at. In this case, Susan was, ask was asking about the uh, sealed sets. So we're browsing the sealed sets in the uh, Star Wars section. The comments are piling in, so I'll see what else we can do. Sealed Star Wars sets. Yes, we're looking at those right now. 
And dude, I got Marvel figs on my Bricklink and one sell the first day for 30 bucks. That's awesome, Darth Maul. Congrats. Yeah, Bricklink stores are an interesting process. I've never sold anything on there, but I buy a lot on there. The store seems less exciting than usual. I wonder what, what could be missing. Oh, <laughs> poor Daniel. He's off in Virginia visiting family, but he's going to be at Brick Fair, Virginia, which is pretty exciting. So if anyone's in the D.C. area, definitely check that out because it's pretty cool. Hi, Mark. I was waiting for the live to start. Oh, there you go, Rex. Thanks for joining. And Brad P. Nexus, Jaja, Will, Lima Bricks, Brick Virus, etc. Hi, guys. <laughs> Darth Maul says, I don't like the Gen Erso buildable. Yeah, the, the those are not the, the best Star Wars sets ever, I don't think. But uh, there's a couple cool ones up here. So let's see here. Um, how much is the Mando N1? That's a great question. It should be retail if it's new sealed. I'm guessing that was, what was it, 60 70 So $59.99, $60. We got two, three of them here. Excited to see those. That's a cool set. I was really tempted to buy one, but I'm not sure. Now that they're here, I'm kind of like, eh, do I get them? We'll see. Oh, someone was asking about Sith Mosaic. We've got them up here, Susan. And let's see if we can find the price. One eighty-nine. We used to have two or three of these. Now we only have one. So they have gone up to one ninety, which is pretty expensive. Mark is Grumpy Jay your favorite child? Um, no, he's my um, disowned child. I don't. I. I. I, I he, if he's my child, then I disowned him long ago for loving Next Night so much. All right, UCS Imperial Shuttle. Oh, well, walking and typing. Yes. Um, the Imperial Shuttle, I think it's 14, which would be $1,400. So it's it's new sealed, amazing condition box. So um, Imperial Shuttle, Imperial Shuttle, 1400 yeah. Good afternoon, says Brett Donahue. Anybody else staying up till midnight to buy the new castle set? I am, that's me. I am definitely buying the new castle set. I'm looking forward to that. Can you please scroll up to read my comment? I can't retype that. Uh-oh, do we miss one here? Let's see. Uh, oh. This will be my last store tour before school starts on Friday, so can we see Minecraft? Yes, let's go look at that, uh, Lima Bricks. Thanks for mentioning that. Let's see. Oh man, Morgan isn't here today. So sad. Yeah, Morgan doesn't look like he's in the chat today, but I'm sure he'll, he'll be around. We're not doing a whatnot auction tonight because uh, Daniel is out of town, but we'll be doing that again soon, I'm sure. So. I would go to Brick Fair, but my grandparents have their 50th anniversary, so I'm pretty frustrated. Oh, sorry about that, Darth Maul. Well, you gotta you gotta say hi and hang out with your grandparents every now and then, too. So, You know what I'm going to ask, Mark? Uh-oh. I'm guessing either Marvel or Ninjago. Let's see. No, not, not Darth Revan. Can we look at Minecraft sets? Yes, let's go look at the Minecraft stuff. Let's see here. Excuse me, guys. So we've got quite a few of them in here. We got the crafting box. We've got this. What is this? This is the first adventure. I like it. And is that a shroom cow? That's pretty cool. You got the sheep in the minecart. Very cool. And then you got uh, the creeper mine in the back. You got the Nether Fortress. You got the desert outpost. This is the chicken farm, I believe. The chicken coop. It's pretty cool. Another desert outpost. Some of the mini micro Minecraft biomes. Let's see. The ice spikes. The end portal. The pillager outpost. The blaze bridge. The bedrock adventures. The farm cottage. The training grounds. The nether railway. We just got that one in recently. There's the Wither, the Pillager Outpost, a whole bunch of them. So very, very cool. All right, bunch of comments I got to catch up on. Hold on one second. Let's see here. Do you have the BD-1 droid? Um, BD-1. Trying to remember. Oh, the, the figure? I don't think we have that one yet. Let's see. That's the BD droid right there. And uh, he, I think we have them at least in the, the set here, but I don't think we have them uh, for sale just as the figure yet. He'd probably be here in the droids if we had them. So I don't see him here. Can you check out the Marvel section? Let's go look at that really quick here. 
Uh, T Valker says, I bought the Galaxy Explorer today. It replaces the old one that my mom sold at a garage sale. Ah! Oh my goodness, that would be so heartbreaking. But yes, a lot of Lego gets sold at garage sales. Some people don't realize it happened, and then they're like, oh no! So. I bought the Biff Starling Spaceman minifig today off of Bricklink that Daniel had in his best minifig video. That's cool! We just recorded another best minifig video with uh, Joe, Grant, and Jacob. That'll be released pretty soon, possibly this week. We'll see. So it'll be a, a lot of fun to see that once it uh, finally comes out. Okay, right up to the comments. Let's see here. We're looking at uh, the Marvel section here. And there's also a request from Henry about the castle, pirates, and ninja. We'll go look at that in a second, too. This is my last store tour before school, says Willem. Oh, that's, I'm sad to hear that, Willem, but we'll hopefully see you every now and then. Some of our stuff happens after school. Nexus to Zach says, right now I'm building the OG Star Wars Cloud City set, so I'm happy I'm on Cloud 9. That sounds like it, Nexus to Zach. That is an amazing set. Does it have the figures as well, or is it just the set? Even, even so, just the pieces alone are pretty cool. Let's see here. Any August 1st releases in the store? Not that I know of. I do know we have the uh, Forceman Gift With Purchase set, if anyone wants that. So we do have an extra one of those. It's a little bit high. It's priced at $60, but I think if we price it any lower, it'd sell immediately to the employees. So. Uh, any Kingdom's Castle? We do have uh, some Kingdom's Castle, Tegan. Let's go look at that in a second. I love to collect Lego dinosaurs and animals, so could we look at the animal and dinos dinosaur section, please? We can Dinomation. We'll look at that. I think we got uh, Castle, Pirates, Ninja, and then we got we can look at dinosaurs after that. Do we have Dimensions, Finn, and Jake minifigures? I'm pretty sure we do, Brick Virus. We'll look at that as well. Thanks for all the great requests. Let's try and fulfill some of them now. Excuse me, everybody. Let's see. Still alive. <laughs> there we go. It came with half the minifigures, no Bubba, Lando, or Leia, but all had all the others. Very cool. Is that 2013 De La Bugle sealed? I believe it is, but we'll double check on that, Brickmeister. That's a good question. Um, so here is the Pirates, some space, and some Western and Adventurers too. Those old pirate sets with the purple boxes are pretty cool. Also got some older space themes like Spirus, Ice Planet, Space Police 2, and others. Over here, we've got some castle stuff. We've got some older castle sets up here. Some very nice classic castle sets. Some of these are very collectible, although we are selling a few. I see there's an empty spot right there. So there's the Black Falcon's Fortress, really nice set. Bunch of castle minifigures for sale in store only right now. However, this is one of the first uh, displays that Daniel and Sam have finished and have put back out. So these are, will be available online soon since they're all labeled carefully and will be added to the website. So looking forward to that for sure. Got a few more castle sets in the bottom here. I like that uh, wall section there. That's a great set. That one is uh, 140. You got the Dark Forest set that we talked about in the last haul video. That's uh, $80. It's pretty awesome. Let's go look at what we ask about dinosaur um, pieces. Then we'll go look at the 2013 Daily Bugle here. Do you have the Darth Revan figure? I see some comments about Darth Revan. I'm pretty sure we don't have any Darth Revans right now. Uh, John, do we have any Darth Revan figures? No. So as far as I know, we don't have them, Rex and Dr. Jaja, but we'll let you know as soon as we do, because that's a pretty amazing figure. 44 people watching should be 44 likes. Hit the like button, torture mark. <laughs> yeah, if we get 40 likes, um, we will uh, put on the next night costume, and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll make Grumpy Jay's day for sure. So, but right now, we're only at uh, almost 30 likes, so definitely consider liking the video if you enjoy this kind of stuff. I tell you what I would do, if I had a little extra change, I would be getting those awesome Triceratops pieces because they look super cool. I've got the Styracosaurus, but I don't have the Triceratopses and they're pretty awesome. How much for the Mammoth? Let's see here. $49.99 for the Mammoths. So. 
That Ankylosaurus is very cool. Yes, let's see. Where did that one go? Oh, here we go. Ankylosaurus medium nougat. That one's $59.99. Now the set is $150. That also includes the Indominus Rex, which is also $59.99. So sounds like if you bought the set, you'd be getting a great deal with some figures and a build. So some of the dinosaurs are a little bit expensive. So. Oh, Dapper Carnage says, what was your first Lego set? That would be the Adventurer's Dino Tracker. It has a cool tank treads for a little vehicle. And it was it came out in, I want to say, uh, 1999, was it? Or was it Rock Raiders? Anyway, some of those earlier 90s, or late 90s themes were some of my favorites. The Brachiosaurus is also great. Yes, it is. $79.99 for the Brachiosaurus. You should open a Brickling store. We already have one, Darth Maul. We sell a lot of uh, bulk pieces on there. But most of our minifigures and sets are on our website instead, since it's easier than trying to go through Bricklink all the time. So, You have blue? Yes, I think we have a couple versions of blue. There's blue right there, the original one for $49.99. The later version, that's sand green for $39.99. And then, um, where's the latest version of blue? I think it's that's blue eye patch, so that's the wrong one. We should have the later versions of blue as well, so. Mine was Lego Lions Guardians of the Galaxy, the first set. Oh, so the Guardians of the Galaxy set? That's pretty cool. Who is older, Dad? You or Uncle Steve? That would be me. I'm older than Steven, so. I'm so ancient. I was born in the 1700s. I also like to animate with Legos, and I love to animate these dinosaurs. Awesome, that'd be pretty cool. Let's see, Lego animation is a really cool subject for creativity. Let's see, the Daily Bugle question mark. Let's see here. Here we go. I think this is it. 2013, it's new-ish, which means one of the bags or more has been opened, but most of it should be sealed. So that is 189. So for the Daily Bugle Showdown with Dr. Doom, J. Jonah Jameson, Beetle, Nova, Spider-Man. So pretty cool looking. And that one should definitely be on our website, atlbrick.com. Link in the description as well. And Double King Bricks, which is Daniel, says, mine was 6423 mini tow truck with a whopping 31 pieces. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Let's see. Do you have a picture of the entire ABC crew? I don't think so, because a lot of us work on different days. Some of us work during the week, and only a couple days during the week sometimes, and some of us work only on weekends, so we rarely get all of us together. I think maybe next Christmas party we'll try and get a group photo of everyone. How much would it cost to ship an average size set to Virginia? Usually $8 to $10, could be more. Depends on the weight and the dimensions of the box. So usually Lego sets cost somewhere in there. Um, but the figures, a couple bucks to send a minifigure or accessories or smaller pieces. So. Let's see, uh, Dr. Jaja. Where's Dr. Jaja? Oh, Finn and Jake, yes, Brick Brothers, let's go look for those. And do you have Minecraft sets? Yes, we just covered those a minute ago, um, Bricks and Beyond Studios, like the name, by the way. But uh, we'll kind of scan past those as we go to see Finn and Jake over here because Brick Virus is asking about those earlier. Are you doing the Stormtrooper? We are, yes. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll watch those. <laughs> there you go. Finally, I got to catch you doing it. Absolutely. I, I say hi to you guys, but I got to go yeah. look for a yeah. Finn and Jake figure. But yeah, so. appreciate it, guys. So. Let's see here. So there's Finn the human. He is $44 right there. And then it looks like it would be 20 for um, Jake, but I don't see Jake there. I don't see the brick belt versions of either, because I see Finn there, looking pretty good. And there's the vampire lady, I forget her name. Very cool. And then, uh, so someone was asking about Minecraft earlier. We've got a bunch of Minecraft sets here. Whole bunch of them. We added more of these recently, too. So. Used to have a lot of duplicates animals, but then I gave them away to a neighbor when I moved. Oh, okay, that's very generous of you. 35 likes equals ABC mock. We're almost there, Lemur Bricks. There's Seth Henderson. Hey, guys. Hey, Seth. Thanks for joining us. Joining late. Hope you are doing well, Mark. I'm doing good, Brick Lore. Hope you're doing well, too. We have still have plenty of time left in the store tour. I kind of want to talk about this section of the store. I never hang out over here. 
So we just added all these big glass displays, excuse me, we just added all these display cases here, and they look great, and they hold a bunch of stuff. So you got some Marvel and some other things over here, Marvel, Star Wars, City, Lego Ideas. Let's see, is, if that was Morgan, I'm going to laugh. I don't think that was Morgan, but I could be wrong, so. My first set was the Toy Story 3 dump truck. Oh, that's a great set. That's awesome. You got some Dimensions characters over here. Oh, hold on. There's Jake. And he's $39.99. And you got Finn over here for $59.99 with his disc. I think that's why he's differently priced than the one over there. So, very cool. We also have Sonic for $59.99. Very cool. So, these guys were hiding over here. Glad we found them. And Seth says, hey, from Grand Rapids. That's a long ways away. Thanks for joining us. Still in the same time zone, though, so that helps. Let's see here. Do you have any Mega Bloks? TMNT. I'm at a very low point in my life right now. <laughs> no problem, Brick Virus. Uh, those Mega Bloks sets are very tempting because of the cool brands that they have. Like, I love Star Trek, and they have the licensing for Star Trek, so I'm still very sad about that. But let's go look and see if we got any of that. Oh, there's that... Uh, dump truck that Dr. Jaja was talking about here. I think it was Dr. Jaja. Yeah. Toy Story 3 dump truck. Very cool. Alright. So let's go look at the non-Lego section over here. We used to have a couple Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sets here, but we might not anymore. So there's some poly bags, some non-Lego stuff. G.I. Joe... It's like a beat up version of this set. How'd this get over here? I don't know. We'll have to move that back to Jurassic World here. Let's see. Masters of the Universe. Some action figure packs. Masters of the Universe. Rick and Morty. Game of Thrones. Some Star Trek as well. King Arthur sets. Those are kind of cool. Sorry for those who don't like fake Lego. Shield your eyes. Looking for uh, Brick Virus. Don't see any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unless you guys are spotting it and I'm missing it. Some G.I. Joe, Transformers, other things. Glad to see Transformers make an appearance in the Lego catalog. That's exciting. Y'all got minions, says Luke John Hobbs. Let's go look for minions. They, we used to keep them over here. Any Fire Nation figures? That's a great question, Grumpy J. I don't think so. But we'll take a quick browse just in case. Oh, hold on. Looks like we've got a Firebender minifigure for $24.99 with the very, very rare pieces right there. We've also got Katara and Momo. And Momo is going to go for $69.99. Katara is $26. That seems like a great deal for Katara yeah? because she is a great character and a very rare figure as well. There's Morgan joined, but right during fake Lego section. Sorry, Morgan. We're away from there now. Let's see. What were we looking for? Minions. We had a couple minion sets, but they seem to be mostly gone. Here's one pack of figures here. Which is surprising, because I guess there's a demand for Lego minions, which is very disappointing. A little fake Lego. Yeah, I mean, that's what we describe it as, uh, Dynomation, for sure. Gary says, greetings from Minnesota. Good to see you, Gary. Thanks for joining us. One of our regulars for sure. And then, uh, hello, Morgan. This is Dr. Jaja. People saying hi to Morgan. Ding, ding, ding. The 35 like goal has been achieved. ABC Mock, here I come. Sounds great, Lemur Bricks. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely got to share some pictures of this once you get it done. Do you have April O'Neil? Oh, I just walked away from there. Let me go back and check on that. We'll go check on April O'Neil from the Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. No, not the garbage truck. The yellow dump truck with all the bad guys. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Get on it, Lemur Bricks, says Grumpy J. Let's see here. April O'Neil. Yep, there's one. There she is. $14.99 for April O'Neil. Very cool. There were some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles non-Lego poly bags or something in the basement, Mark. Oh, well, I can't go in the basement during a live tour. The Wi-Fi would probably cut out on me. Uh, Mark, can I see your pants? Uh, 
Uh, maybe later when I change into my costume if we get a few more likes. So, do you have the McLaren F1 car in stock? Uh, let's go look. If it's the big one, then no. Well, we do have a couple of McLaren vehicles here. There's the Corvette. There's, there's a McLaren. That's the Valkyrie. I don't know if we have the F1 style car in stock. If it's the Technic one, we might not. But if it's the Speed Champions one, we probably do. Can we see that some modern animals like the new elephant? Yes, Dynomation. Let's go look at those. About Lego Castle Dragons. Can you show what you have? Yes. Let's let's uh, look at those really quick. Then we'll head on to animals. No, not Megan Fox. The one from the show. Do you know? Do you have the? Mech with April. Oh, 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 yeah, we probably do. Let's, uh, I, we probably have that set. There's a couple big red dragons over here. They go for $89.99. We have a Vikings era dragon that's green. It's $49.99. We've got some dark red dragons down there for $69.99. And another Vikings dragon for $39.99. A little bit better deal. And then we've got the classic Lego dragons. They're going to be over by the Lego, um, regular Lego animals. So we'll go look at those. Speed Champion shelves look so organized. I know, right? They look great when they're all lined up. Alrighty. So here's a few other of the classic Lego dragons here. And they are going for 30 and 30. Not too bad. Used to be 20. We got a bunch of horses, other animals. We got sheep, pigs, cows, cats, dogs, baby raptors, ostriches, eagles. Flamingos, toucans, snakes, seagulls, owls, bats, fish, crabs, lobsters, monkeys, scorpions, mice and rats. So many cool things. Can the store order it for me? I can order it from Amazon, but I'd rather buy it from you and support the store. Appreciate it, Pack Racing Club. Usually, um, if we have the set, it's a better deal than Amazon. However, if we don't have the set, there's no uh, more cheaper way for us to get it for you. So we would just be buying the set for what it's going for out online and then charging you a little more for it to ship it between all of us. So it's just not worth being the middleman. Thank you, though, for choosing to support small business first. We really appreciate it. So. Uh, let's see here. Does Grandpa space out the Speed Champions? Yes, I think he usually works on those, but it could be a couple of other employees who work on the cases as well. There's the new large elephants. They go for $49.99 here at the store. We've got a couple more in the back. So there's the baby elephant. I've been needing one of those. I might get one of those. That's really cool. All right, let's see here. Sad you don't have the green dragon. Yeah, that one's super rare. That's over $100 for that one. Mark, do you prefer brick-built dragons or molded dragons? Kind of a mix of both. Um, the molded dragons are really cool, but the brick-built ones can be bigger and nicer sometimes. So. Do you have any of the Pixar Cars movie characters? We do builds by Matt. We'll go check those out in a second. Do you happen to have any goats? No goats, because that's where they would be if we had them. The goat is not in the building. I love the flamingos. Me too. They're pretty awesome. Can we look at the Lord of the Rings and the prices of the custom and sets, please? We can, Dr. Jaja. But what we're going to look for first, we're going to look for Pixar cars. Then, are you fighting the Nexo movement that is taking over the world? I'm trying, Will Lamb. I'm trying. But here are some of the cars characters. A lot of these are from the third movie or other movies. Like, I know Sarge and Fillmore are from the first movie. So you got a couple different versions. You got Duplo versions that are very big and roundy. They're pretty cool. You got all the system size ones down here. A couple different versions of Mater with machine guns. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Mark is trying and failing. Yes, I am. We're over 40 likes. So that means I have to go get the next night costume. No goat sad face. Yeah, that makes sense. Lego Mike for sure. That baby elephant is absolutely adorable. It certainly is. Do you have a TikTok? I swear I saw a Steven with a real life Lightning Queen. That is correct, Brick Virus. We do have a TikTok. You gotta go follow us. It's Atlanta Brickco or ATL Brickco. Either one of those two. <laughs> mark, mark, mark. Lloyd heads. We do have Lloyd heads. They're in the build a fig. All right, and then let's go look at Lord of the Rings. 
and then I'll go put on the next night costume for everyone. Because you guys unlocked the like goal. Are they on the website? They might be match, but I'm not sure. Worst case scenario, definitely give us an email or give us a call and uh, ask for them. But uh, they, they should be on the website. The crushed car figure is very funny. <laughs> yep. How much for the Lego Lightning McQueen? Oh, I didn't check the prices, Darth Maul. I'll head back and check. Let's see, you got $69.99 for the Wizard Battle Certified Complete. I think these guys are $89.99 for the Witch King Battle Sealed. Got the Dole Goldur Ambush. It's going to be $79.99. That's gone up quite a bit. You got the awesome built... Um, this is the Shelob, I believe. It's very cool. It's $49.99. Riddles for the ring. Sealed is going to be $69.99. That's a nice number, $69. Um, let's see here. Got all the Lord of the Rings figures. They're on the website, atlbrick.com. Link in the description. You got the custom Lord of the Rings figures here. You got the custom Elven Warriors. Now, some of those pieces are non-Lego. So most of that is non-Lego. Got Lego heads in there, but uh, most of those accessories are not Lego. They're custom made. So $14.99 for the Elves, and $14.99 for the Gondor Archers. You also have $14.99 Uruk High. Most of those are sold, though. You got a barrel escape set up there. And that is $169.99. Got a couple built sets down here as well. They range in price from $7.99, $19.99, all the way up to $39.99 for the... the um, Rivendell scene there. Very cool. So. All right, so that's Lord of the Rings checked out. Let's see what other requests we had. Top shelf. We can check that out in a little bit here, Jerry. We checked it out at the beginning, but there's a bunch of cool sets. Let me get my next night costume, and we'll then get back to that. Excuse me. Remember seeing a bag of Lloyd heads last time I was here? Yes, we have some in, the, in our Brickling store in our basement. We might have some in the Build-A-Fig, too, because we often put Lloyds out there. Have fun, Brickfires. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in, Brickfires. We'll see you later. Who used Light McQueen in the race the other day? That was pretty funny. Um, on our race we did one of these Mondays ago, um, I think it was I think it was uh, Vogan who picked one. And it, it did pretty good. I think it was lacking the weight to go fast enough to go all the way down the track. But it still did pretty good. I remember it winning a few races. All right, hold on. Thank you for bearing with me as I got the awesome armor of the Nexonite suit on for us here. There we go. It also happens to match my minifigure. It's very nice. Very cool. I made the Sig Fig after... The chat here requested it, uh, I think it was last week, so. It's a lot of fun. All right, now, what we're going to look at, we were going to look at the top shelf. Let's go back there and look at it. No, Vogan picked the red bus. Uh, no, I think that was Daniel again, because he got the, the classic bricks red bus from the, like, the 60s or 70s, so. Very cool costume. Thank you, Dynomation. Yeah, so this is something we do pretty much every week. I said, uh pretty reasonable like goal at 35 or 40 likes and then once they get past that i then put on the costume so we've got some amazing sets up here we're going to go through them real quick review 3d says join late had a meeting don't don't they know 3 p.m is store tour time yeah, exactly yeah you, you should uh mark pants reveal actually i'm wearing uh george today so i'm wearing jean shorts and they're pretty awesome Cutoffs are the way of the future, guys. It's recycling. All right. I had picked the red bus, and Vogan had picked the lightning, but I think he was asking who raced his lightning. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think it was Joe that was racing his lightning McQueen, but I'm not sure. You can always re-watch the footage afterwards. So we got the space shuttle, some awesome Star Wars sets, the Imperial flagship, which is beautiful, Simpsons House, the roller coaster, the B-Wing Starfighter, the Imperial Shuttle, the Super Star Destroyer, and a bunch of other great sets like the Twilight, the Boeing, Build-A-Bob, Classic Castle, Batman. There's the Ferrari F1 racer. I think someone was asking about that earlier. That's a really cool set. 
Oh no, was it McLaren F1 racer? Yeah, yeah. Well, someone was asking about the McLaren. It says Ferrari. That is the Ferrari, and I think that's where I was getting confused. So, how much is the Imperial Shuttle UCS? That one is fourteen hundred, so one thousand three hundred and ninety-nine dollars. So. Will Lamb says, "Oh, hi, Mark. Hello, Will Lamb. Uh, I got an ad for Ewan McGregor when uh, you put on an ad. <laughs> there we go." Thanks, now I can make an accurate mark fig for my ABC mock. There you go. Oh, dear. Brick Virus says, okay, I'm back, y'all. Good to see you, Brick Virus. Glad you're back. We've got the amazing Town Hall set, the Cafe Corner set, and the Green Grocer set. I wonder if anyone can guess which one is my favorite. If you're a regular... Oh, hey, no, no spoilers. Guessing. You're guessing? Uh, okay. No. Uh, so if you watch our shorts on our YouTube channel, those short videos that we post, not, not my jorts, I did. I commented my favorite, and so that would be a reveal. So. I, I think it's the green grocer. I just. Yep, and it is actually the green grocer. Let's go. So Joe was right. Yeah. Didn't know that. You didn't know that. You weren't here when we filmed that. So yeah. So the green grocer is actually my favorite, but the the cafe corner is amazing too. Oh, Darth Maul's heading out. Bye. He says, "Thank you for tuning in, Darth Maul. We'll see you next time." Don't get chopped in half. Yeah, don't get chopped in half. Yeah. The, the how much is the town hall going for? 1200 for the town hall. You don't want to know how much these two are going for. We're not even going to talk about that. It's only two and three grand. Two and three grand. That's like, like as much as my car. That's like four of my cars. Yeah, that's like many of, of Joe's cars. Let's see. Ask Joe who used Lightning McQueen in the race. Who used Lightning McQueen in the race? Was it you? I, I didn't. No, I did. I used the yeah. Duplo one. Yeah. yeah, so you use, use the Duplo Lightning McQueen uh, to race with, yeah. Nice job, Joe, says Dynomation. Yep. Jeffrey says, hey, Mark, any more Lego Star Star Trek sets? If it's Star Trek, then we don't probably don't have any more. I saw the, um, the teleportation room set. We can go look at that. Uh, Brickfire says, bye, Darth Maul. Don't get cut in half. <laughs> Man, I want them so bad, but I can't afford them. And me too, Jerry. That would definitely blow my Lego budget for the year if I got one. Of, actually, more than the year, probably. That's a lot of money. I got the Riddles on the Ring set for $16 on eBay. Really good deal. Yeah, that is a good deal, Dr. Jaja. 16. 60 is an okay deal. 16 is a great deal. Town Hall is 1200 Boy, government is getting more and more expensive. It is indeed. Let's see here. Hello, guys. Excuse me. Between these, uh, behind these customers here, we had this one Star Trek set for you, Jeffrey. It was the, uh, the original series, the transporter room with the alternate universe, Kirk and Spock, with one uh, crewman getting transported. So I spent way too much getting OG Cloud City with half the minifigs. I'm tapped out. Yeah, it sounds, sounds about right, Nexus. Mark, how much for... How much of that Aragon figure... How much is the Aragorn figure? He is going to be pretty expensive. Let's see. Aragorn, yeah. Ah, not in Lego. Yep, sorry, Grumpy J. People keep asking about it. I'm going to have to keep showing it. Let's see. Where is Aragorn? Is he here? Or did he get sold out already? Not seeing him. Yeah, buy him all. Are we out of or Aragorn? Origami? Uh, probably. Probably? I don't... Aragorn's right there. Oh, there he is. I was looking for the blue suit one. Yeah, so the regular Aragorn is $39.99. Not too bad, but pretty expensive. $40 is a lot for a minifig. But the specialty Aragorn with his uh, kingly outfit, that one's going to be $44. But it looks like we're out of stock of him right now. What? That's is, is... Oh, well, how much is King, uh, Aragorn? It's like 80 or something. 80 or something? Okay, he's even more than 44 Amazing. All right, I'm always on the lookout for Pharaoh's Quest sets. I've got the Scorpion Pyramid, but, but none of the others. Okay, well, that's a good one to start with there, Numis, but let's go check for you. I didn't see any other ones recently, but maybe we'll be surprised. Let's go look here. So there's some Atlantis stuff down there. A few adventurers things. You got the older plane and the... Uh, boss characters from the Orient Expedition sets. Yep, 
you've got a tiny little landscape from um, Pharaoh's Quest, but that's all that I'm seeing. And that doesn't have any figures either. Do we have any Pharaoh's Quest minifigs? Not seeing them, so we don't have anything Pharaoh's Quest right now that I can see. Sorry about that, Numis. How much is the King Arthur Castle? It's a great set. Oh, the non-Lego one? Well, we can go look at it, Jerry. Hold on, let's see. What is your favorite Lego dino? I can tell you that right now. Let's go over there. Excuse me. This is my favorite Lego dinosaur, the old Spinosaurus mold. And I never got this one, but it's actually a Jurassic Park 3 themed dinosaur, so pretty cool. Let's see, where are we in comments? King Arthur. I'd rather buy Playmobil than anything next, so there you go, Henry. Playmobil is pretty cool too. We did have a few Playmobil sets, but they've all sold. $49.99 for the ship. And $100 for the original King Arthur set with the, the pieces and the figures. Pretty cool looking. All right. <laughs> Dr. Jaja says, $39.99. I got Aragorn from you guys a year ago for 14 bucks. I should have bought more figs, but I was broke. Yeah, that one has gone up quite a bit. You guys have so much Lego, you might as well open a store. <laughs> Yeah, we should do that, Brick Virus. Sounds like a great idea. Well, here's some cool Lamborghini and vehicle sets. There's some Volkswagen ones over here. I went to build a thunder job from Horizon for Ben West. Can I hunt for parts at ABC if I found instructions? Yes. So what people do, uh, Pack Racing Club, is they'll come in the store and they'll pick out pieces for their sets or projects and then buy them by uh, the container size. Or wait, I usually get one of these large containers for $30, fill it up. And uh, then you're good to go. And there's a lot of pieces here. Not all of them, but most of them. And so you can usually find what you're looking for. So that's what I do. And, and people still do that, especially on weekends. So, oh, and uh, I think Corey was looking for trains earlier. So let's go look at that. And we'll go check. Watch your brick, Henry. Those be fighting words. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see here. And... Corey was looking for the train sets. I don't know if we still have them. I don't see the train sets uh, Corey was looking for, but let's go look for City for a Lego Mike. He was asking about them. Mark, I will be coming to the store soon. Oh, there you go, Will Lamb. Hopefully see you then. Do you have the guy from Hidden Side, both the backwards cap as well as built Ninjago? Oh, that's a couple of requests in one, Lima Brooks. Let's see what we can do for you. It's crazy how much Lego can change in value over time. That is for sure. So this is the city section. We've got a bunch of cool sets in here, ranging from hospital to Arctic explorers, space, and regular city vehicles like boats and helicopters. We've got a ton of the box sets up here. Many of them are on the website. Not all of them are though. Oh, there's that new train. Is that the newer one? That looks newer. The Passenger Express train. Or Express Passenger train. That's pretty cool looking. That's really nice. All right, so. We got old and new stuff here. So you got some trains. This is where a lot of the trains show up is in the city section. Trains, planes, and all sorts of good stuff. So floor to ceiling with the large city sets here. Oh, Mark, show off those 20% off shelves. I can do that, Grumpy J. Tessa Smith says, hi, just joined. Thanks for joining, Tessa. We sure appreciate it. We're happy you guys are joining and enjoying this, these live streams that we do. Ogs Dog says, if you can also give the price on the Star Destroyer, it would be cool. Sealed or certified? If it's the Super Star Destroyer, it's uh, pretty expensive. I think it was uh, about 12. Let's go ask here. Joe, what's the price on the Super Star Destroyer? 1700 Wow, okay. 
Brand new seal. That's pretty awesome. Mark, the value of all Lego has gone up insanely in the past three to four months. That's true. The value of everything has, pretty much. It's too late to save myself, Grumpy Jay. <laughs> Mark, how much was the blue Volkswagen Beetle with the surfboard? Let's go look at that, Jeffrey. Hold on. But a phase two Rex four months ago for like $80. Now it's worth like $250. That's a great uh, rise in value for you, Nexus. That's awesome. So $179.99 for the Volkswagen Beetle. It's a pretty good price. It's certified complete, which means that it's been built before, but then we got all the pieces back together, made sure they were all in there. Instructions, stickers, everything's in good shape. I think these are actually, are the stickers or prints? I'm not sure. Either way, we make sure they're in good shape. So. Mark, what is your favorite Forestman set? That's got to be the Forestman's hideout. Um, the tree with the roof, which they recently remade for the gift with purchase. It's one of my favorites. I think it goes planes, trains, and automobiles. But yeah, I wasn't looking at the automobiles, Daniel. <laughs> but yes, that is the saying I was thinking of. Uh, let's see here. What else we were looking for? Uh... Hidden side figures. Let's go look at those. And 20% off shelves. We'll do that next. Okay. So hidden side figure with the backwards cap. I know we've got the hidden side figure with the forwards cap and the hood. Couple different options of hidden side figures here for us. They aren't on the website yet, but they should be soon. I think Emily was going to be adding those soon. So very good. There's Geology Joe. Good to see you, Geology Joe. I was able to pre-order during the LEGO Con, so my Galaxy Explorer arrived today. I'm stoked. Mine should be arriving soon, and I'm really excited. I've seen my friends start to get theirs. Wasn't sure if it was more than the Imperial Shuttle, but apparently so, yes. A little bit more, which is sad, but it makes sense. It's a very cool set. Um, let's see. Hey, Grumpy J. This is Geology Joe. Grumpy J, next night's is bad for your mind. Once I saw a man kill a man for next night's set. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty terrible. Jaja, I just traded in some minifigs, and they definitely adjust the value on how good the condition they're in or their collectability. Yes. Yep. I was about to start work, then I thought, it can wait. LOL. <laughs> well, thank you, Jolly Joe. Appreciate you tuning into the live stream. We really like to see you guys. I'm going to have to get that Eternals triangle. That's some cool pieces in there. Uh, let's see. All right. And then we looked at those figures. And we're, let's look at the 20% off cases. I rotated these uh, not too long ago. And I post the video on YouTube. However, because it's not under 60 seconds and it's upright orientation, usually doesn't do very good in the algorithm. So it doesn't get out to a lot of people. But we can show you guys in the live store. Uh, live store tour. Store. I should start combining the words. So this shelf with architecture, technic, and other sets is gonna be 20% off. I can barely see up there. Got some city, some friends. Chima figs, we've got a few of those, Dr. Jaja. We can look at them in a second. All the built stuff in this case is 20% off. That includes all this lovely architecture stuff. All 20% off. If you're looking for architecture, now's a good time to get it. And then, I think some of our other sale items are going to be over in the Harry Potter section. So all the sets up on this shelf are 20% off, including Sesame Street, the old city police station, the Harry Potter sets, even got some cool volcanoes from Jurassic World. And then over here, this case was once packed with Star Wars. Now it's pretty light because all the sets in here are 20% off. So stuff like the Naboo Starfighter modified. We got uh, the Sith Interceptor. A couple of the buildable figures, including the very cool K2SO figure. A couple of the smaller vehicles. There were There's some big gaps in here because there were more ships in there. They've already sold. Those are all 20% off for all the built ones in there. 
And there's gonna be one or two more sections here. Let's see if I can track them down. Here we go. Some of the Friends sets got to see some sale attention over here. Let's see, a couple comments that have filtered through. How much is the Simpsons house and is it sealed? Joe, Simpsons house price? 600 for a sealed Simpsons house. It's a very good set. It's very expensive, but very good. How much is the Trevi Fountain? Let's go look at it here. When are you going to do the video of the Nexo theme song? Good question, Lima Bricks, says Jumper J. Yeah, so that is going to be when we hit 5,000 subscribers, according to the deal we made. You got 100 likes, I would do it for the 5,000 subscriber special. We are working on it as I speak. Me and Grant are working on the script and the musical elements that are going into it. So it's going to be very hilarious, very fun. I think you all will very much enjoy it. I spy a Taj Mahal haul. Yep, exactly. You've got the mini one here for 100, plus 20% off. We've got the Trevi Fountain here over here for 130, plus 20% off. I actually got to see this architectural piece in Rome. It's very beautiful. The water wasn't running because they were cleaning it out, but even so, all the marble statues are gorgeous. I really like that brick-built parrot on the front desk. Yeah, we can go look at that and see. I'm a trader, Mark. I'm having an early life crisis. I'm back to Mega Bloks. It's a love-hate relationship. Oh no, Brick Ferris. That's okay. I know people don't like it, but I think a little competition for Lego is probably a good thing. They're doing a great job, but if they don't watch out, the high prices that they're charging will get to them. When you do a song, make sure to make it out to Grumpy Jay and myself next to night's biggest fans. <laughs> so sad, no what not tonight. A little Nexus, yes. Sorry, Grumpy Jay, there isn't going to be a whatnot option tonight. Uh, just a regular store tour today, and then uh, we should have some more short videos releasing this evening. We'll see. But uh, no whatnot, Daniel's out of town. Uh, Chris is out of town. Joe had a record number of orders this week, and he doesn't have enough time to pack and ship another 40 orders. And neither do I. I'm not very experienced at it either. So with Daniel gone, we just he's, it's normally Daniel's main thing on Tuesdays. So yeah, it's good for good for your wallet, Grumpy Jay. Exactly. Daniel is in the chat watching. So yeah, that, Daniel is taking a well-needed vacation and enjoying some Brick Fair Virginia action as well. So just bought $125 worth of Legos yesterday from the website and I'm so hyped. Oh, that's awesome. But we are looking forward to getting you your great Lego stuff. Thank you for shopping at Atlanta Brickco. We sure, sure appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Daniel said, it's good for your wallet, Grumpy Jay, and your marriage. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. Good for Grumpy Jay. He needs a break from whatnot for one day. Grumpy Jay, I also saw a man torture a man for next night. Wait a minute, that was you. Oh, no. The good thing is that Mega Bloks is extremely cheap on eBay. Yeah, sounds like it. That's, that's good. Congrats, Grumpy. Your wallet is spared. And Brick Jedi shows up. Ahoy, ahoy. Good to see you, Brick Jedi. Thanks for tuning in. We've still got a good six or seven minutes left, and we can uh, walk around and check out all the cool stuff. Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> says Grumpy Jay. Then, Heinel Dedia, I believe it's how it's pronounced. Hello, everyone. I am from India. Thanks for joining us today. We sure appreciate it. It's great to get visitors from so far away. Daniel needs help on his, needs to keep his shoes on. Exactly. Daniel does need to keep his shoes on and not auction them off for $20 to Nexus to Zach. Oh my goodness. Mega blocks for people who have strict spouses. There you go. I watch your videos silently. Oh, well, thank you for commenting. We sure appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. Uh, that's right, Will. Insert evil laugh. This is Grumpy Jay. Grumpy Jay. <laughs> Managing his marriage and his love of Nexonites. Such a, such a difficult thing. I would let another man beat me up for next night's. I would understand. <laughs> there you go, Brick Fires. Yes, I am 12,000 kilometers away. Wow, that's crazy. That is insane. I gotta say, you have really, you have to really keep your eyes open for the best deals on Lego. Yes. It's like uh, house hunting. It's like uh, real estate. It's crazy. 
Do you have a custom Cal Kestis and just look at the Star Wars custom figures? Can do, Dr. Jaja. That's a great, great idea. Is this the Lego store? Uh, we are a store that sells Lego. So we are definitely a store that sells Lego. We're not the Lego store because we're not owned by Lego. We, we are an independently owned store in South Atlanta. But yes, we sell Lego. And here's all the custom figures. I thought we had a Cal Kestis in here. Let's go look here. Cal Kestis, Cal Kestis, no. No Cal Kestis. I'd be sad if we didn't have him. Maybe we don't. Looks like we're out of Cal Kestis right now. But all of these can be purchased on the website, atlbrick.com. Let's see here. Some comments getting away from me. They will be firmly affixed to my feet at Brick Fry, I assure you, Zach. <laughs> going to go. This is going to be my last store tour for you guys before school starts on Friday. So bye, guys. Bye, Lima Bricks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for uh, watching all of our live streams throughout the summer. Hope you have a great school year coming up. Josh Mundy dropping the fire emoji. Thank you, guys. The next night shield piece is quite useful. Yes, it is, Numus. That is a great point. I'm in East Point. There you go. Not too far away. And good luck, Lima Bricks. See ya. There's the Lego store, and then there's the Lego store, ABC. There you go, Numus. That's right. And then, uh, Haniel says, Okay, thanks for giving me an answer, sir. You're welcome. Thank you for asking questions. And you guys sell Lego? Who would have guessed? Exactly, Brickfires. 51 likes. Yay, that's pretty good. I see 49 on my counter, but maybe it's a few likes higher on your end. That's great. Well, apparently this is the Lego and fake Lego store. Come on, Mark. Tell Chris he's slipping on his rules. I know. We try not to sell non-Lego stuff, but it gets through every now and then. Hey, Grumpy J, do you need somebody to talk about what your wallet is feeling today? <laughs> Bye, sir. Bye, Jelly Jojo. Bye, Heniel. We'll see ya. Thank you for joining from India. 11 people have to unlike. <laughs> exactly. There we go. The castle three in one set has so many Nexus shields in it. So, should I make it a Nexus castle? Oh, no, Grumpy J. Don't do that. You'd be ruining a perfectly good normal Lego castle. Oh, here's some cool Ninjago sets. These are pretty awesome. Look at this. $40 for that. That's awesome. Some great figures in there, and then this this one here. This one is forty nine dollars. That's fifty dollars. Look at that. Very very cool. Thank you. What's your name? I am Mark. So Mark and I do the live store tours um, here every uh, Tuesday and Friday at three p.m. Eastern times. So thank you for joining us. We're about to sign off here. We got two more minutes, so we'll see you next time. Atlanta Brickco is the Lego store of all Lego stores. There you go, Tegan. I mean, where else can you see people wearing Galador merch? I mean, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> there you go. One of my favorites. Is, I don't know if that's on the website yet. We need to add it. Yeah, we got two of those bad boys up there. It's pretty awesome. Mark, is Steven working this weekend? He certainly will be. He will be there. The medieval blacksmith has even more Nexo shields. <laughs> it, it does. The host of the stream is Mark. Yes. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Hey, there's H2 Brick. It's my buddy Noah from Germany. You folk mind if I stop by? No problem. We're about to close out, though, man. And hopefully see you later today in just a little bit. So, Another great live stream, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome, Brad P. Any bat caves? Do we have any bat caves, Joe? I mean, we have, like, the normal... Does... Not any of the big cool ones, but we might have a normal one over here. Let's go look. Mark and Steven are actual Lego Masters. We certainly are. We were on the United States version of the Lego Masters TV show. We did pretty good on that. It was pretty fun. So here's some Lego Bat Caves. We've got the Bat Cave Clayface Invasion. We've also got the uh, Bat Cave here. I spent 17 euro on Mega Blocks, but due to inflation, it wouldn't be enough for Lego. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's hard to get Lego for less than 17 euro right now. 
Well, it was a nice stream to join and great to see every, everything available. Well, thank you for joining us, Dinomation. We sure appreciate it. We're about to close up here because we're at uh, 60 minutes, which is our limit. So, Mark, any chance of friending you on Instagram? Yes, you can go follow me. It's uh, Mark of Falworth. So, M A R K O F F A L W O R T H. So, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. I post a lot of Lego content there. In fact, most of our employees here have a Lego Instagram page, and I'm following them, so you can find them there too. So, except, except Joe, he just has a regular Instagram. So, Grant and John, being average employees, tell them good job. <laughs> there you go. That's what Nexus is Zach said. Good average employees. I think it is. I think it is. Hey, You're both working diligently, so I think that's a compliment. Okay. Uh, Mark, I've enjoyed this summer just because of how fun this channel is. Oh, thank you, Will Lamb. That's great. Uh, and then note, my native is not English. Sorry for any mistakes in conversation. No problem. And I'll be there shortly, says h 2 Absolutely, h 2 We'll see ya. Builds by Matt says, thanks, Mark. There you go. The television series on Fox. Yes, we did pretty good on that. It's the most subtle way of saying you won. <laughs> yeah, that is true. All right. Bye, Mark, till Friday. Yep. We'll see you guys. Thank you very much for joining. We'll see you guys next, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday, Friday. Yeah, we'll see you guys Friday. So Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll be doing another store tour, but we're doing other videos. We got another video coming out tomorrow morning at 9.30 on Wednesday. We've got another show at 6.30 p.m. on uh, Thursday. So yeah, we got live streams all throughout the week. Bye-bye, guys. We'll see you next time.